Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. It is day two, I guess it is, out shooting with the hands-on review of the Fuji, Fujifilm XP80. And uh, it's the waterproof, shockproof camera from Fuji, little pocket camera. Really enjoying the camera so far. Uh, we've got a full charge on the battery now after day one. The battery actually uh, charged up real quick, which was nice to see. Um, I didn't actually time it, but it seemed to be like under an hour. So uh, we're outside again. We're going to head down the road close to the Nine Mile River up here around Dungannon, Ontario. And just as I'm heading down, I just noticed quickly that uh, the beak are the big greens beets are still doing good in the garden so just give you a quick uh, quick video purview of those right there and then we'll take a uh, shot of them too so you can see what they look like as I'm walking down towards the nine mile there is this glorious looking huge maple tree in full autumn colors behind me the oranges and reds it just looks incredible I'll uh, get a shot of that here for you and uh, you can see how the XP80 deals with the colors and uh, just this, this will be the wide angle shot because we want to get the whole tree in the photo I'm on one of the bridges, those bridges whatever you want to call them on the Dungannon Road crossing the nine mile this is the nine mile river behind me here so i'm just going to do a quick panoramic video sweep for you and show you what the xp80 does we'll leave it on the uh, wide setting of the lens the five times uh wide zoom lens on here and just show you what the xp80 captures here on video This is the uh, full tele end, the long end of the five time zoom on the XP80, and that's how much it zooms in from the wide setting. So if I zoom it back out here, you'll be able to see the difference here without me moving. And that's the difference in the uh, long and the wide on the XP80's lens. Let's take a couple quick photos here for you. I'm on the other side of the bridge now, so facing this way is north. So this is the north side of the Nine Mile heading north. And uh, just show you some, some photos and some video sweep here from this. So this is again at the wide setting. And then if we zoom in up the Nine Mile, we'll see what we can get into focus there. So that's the long end. Once again, that's the full wide setting. So I'll take a couple photos again here for you. And this again is the long end, the telephoto setting as seen from the bridge. Just of the water running in the nine mile here. Something a little different. If I zoom out, you can see how zoomed in that was. I'll take a couple shots too. I'm going to test out the macro setting here on the XP80 again. I've got a truck going by me, that's what you can hear in the background. I think this is Queen Anne's Lace that's gone to. to the ravages of the fall and you can see it though it's windy here so it's blowing I'm gonna take a couple shots and see if we can get a good macro um, doesn't seem to be acquiring great focus here in video but we'll see what we can do with a photo just past the bridge now and behind me here is the Dauphin Feeds for Dungannon and Walton so I'm going to take some shots and take a shot of the sign and then as I'm walking in here there's an interesting looking feed mill so 
I'm just going to do some photos walking in, some close-ups and some wide angle and show you a little bit of what the XP80 is capable of. further down the road and getting closer to the feed mill up here but what I just wanted to point out was I'm finding that the XP80 really is fast on startup and shutdown I've been turning it off frequently in between taking a picture just to conserve the battery and I'm finding I've really very little lag when it starts up again I'm not finding myself waiting to take a photo uh, and it's, it's really nice that way you can uh, conserve your battery life and uh, you don't have to worry about um, how long it's going to take for it to start up So I'm down the road now and I've got the feed mill in the background behind me in the distance or very close actually we're right at the parking lot. I'm just going to do a quick uh, video panorama sweep for you so you can see uh, the XP80 captures this and what the exposure is like and whatnot sharpness of the video. This is in 1080 HD once again and uh, oh, I should mention as well that everything we're shooting here today the XP80 is pretty much in full auto that's the way she works. an old road continues on behind the mill here as you can see with a really old looking bridge and it goes over a little creek so I'm just gonna head that way and get a few more shots I don't know if you could see from the wide on this but we'll zoom in just to give you an idea of how the zoom is for noise and whatnot there's a pipe draining into the creek there with some water running, so I thought it might be kind of interesting for the uh, camera to do in a video there. And we'll uh, grab a photo too. So I'm just walking back up the mill road away from the mill. We took some photos in there. Uh, XP80 is performing great. One of the other things I've noticed too is I was initially having some issues with getting close-up focus, especially in macro mode. And what it seems to be is that the camera prefers to be in wide. In other words, I don't think fully zoomed in uh, that it, it's, it's probably too close from where I was standing to acquire focus in the macro mode. When I zoom it out to wide, I don't seem to have any trouble acquiring that focus of a close-up flower or something like that using the macro setting. So, just something to note. But overall, really enjoying the XP80.
heading back up the Dungannon Road and I've stopped and turned off here because in the distance there is an old barn or something with a neat looking tractor trailer or something behind it. I don't mean tractor trailer like a semi, I mean a, 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 a trailer for a, a tractor. So anyways, I'm going to head back there and we'll have a peek and uh, see what it looks like. I'll give you a little uh, video show. Here's just something interesting. Here's me still filming in 1080 walking and you'll be able to see how the image stabilization works. I'm trying to hold this steady and yet I am walking. So we'll get a little closer and we'll take some pictures up here. So this is pretty cool. We got down the road and I don't know if you could see here, let's have a look. It looks like some old rail cars. I don't know if those are cabooses or if those are engines. Uh, maybe cabooses, but uh, pretty neat. We'll go up close and take some photos. I'm uh, running out of batteries here, so this is where I'm going to sign off for now. And I just want to say as a final note on the day two hands-on review here for the Fuji XP, um, the battery life isn't bad uh, considering I'm doing a lot of vlogging video here with this. But I would definitely carry some extra batteries because they're very small and I imagine you could pick them up pretty cheap. So uh, overall, quite impressed. Uh, in the next coming days, we're going to do some water testing. This is a waterproof camera. But thanks for tuning in. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com.